Frank, inflammatory bowel disease is a very uh, difficult to treat disease. Um, it's chronic. It uh, provides a lot of burden to the patient, to the family. Stay any hope? Um, yes, I think there is hope. I, I hope at least. The facts today are that uh, unfortunately the number of patients are increasing. So it's a more and more frequent disease. Uh, we see more family forms, but we have new treatment approaches and I think also research on the uh, cause of the disease pinpoints to key events on the disturbed dialogue between the flora and the immune system in genetically de predetermined persons. There are two ways to treat. Uh, one is dietetic treatment and the other is drugs. Yes. So in particular in children, uh, what is uh, recommended? Um, the scientific societies, as we can echo, are just at the moment working on guidelines how to treat these disorders in Europe. The most uh, common approach is to control inflammation, to really calm down inflammation with drugs. But probably it's smarter to treat on the onset of inflammation, and that's where nutritional therapy comes in. And it is very powerful to induce remission, but now we have to work on maintaining the situation stable. And do we know which molecule in, in, in the nutrition is causing this effect? I don't think there is one single molecule. There is uh, different effects. It's the change of the proteins. It's uh, molecules like anti-inflammatory molecules like TGF-beta. There is an uh, effect on the flora, so there are multi, uh, multiple factors that add and summarize. And probably there is a good approach to improve and uh, fine-tune anti-inflammatory molecules in enteral nutrition. But at least there are no adverse reactions with enteral treatment. This is the only treatment that, uh, for Crohn's disease that has no adverse effects. Absolutely, that's a very important point. Okay, thank you very much. It's my pleasure.